Hello and a warm welcome to Wembley Stadium here in London. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Holstein Kiel and they take on SC Paderborn. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. So we can check on the lineup today. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. The opposition starting 11. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And the match is underway. Mefert. Val. Lee J. Sung. And with it, Finn Bartels. Vandenberg. Serra. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, can they open up the defence here? As a go! There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And we Ajay. Good looking sequence. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Well, he took care of it defensively. Mühling. Fruitful-looking attack. Nicely cut out. Oh, tremendous vision and mistimed the run sadly that's offside but the timing a little bit off a routine save getting in there to intercept Mefert Lee J. Sung Bartles Serra in behind for him to chase and delivered into the box well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Sabini. 
Antwi Ajay. Options in the centre. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Couldn't quite hang on. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here's the replay. I never liked rebound goals off goalkeepers. The defenders should be there. Probably would have been my fault. On that occasion, his defenders went missing. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Svante Ingersoll. He's in control of the situation. And players waiting in the centre. It looks promising. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Sabini. Defensive efficiency personified. Mühling. Val. Serra, Lee J. Sung, Dame, could cross it in here, looks promising this, and after the cross a tremendous block, an effective challenge, and with that the first half draws to a close. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Collins. Serra. Mühling. Can they take advantage? Giving the ball away. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he's been involved in most of the positive things in that first half, and obviously getting that goal has given his team a huge boost for this second half. And teammates to play it to. Dame. Val. Dangerous looking attack. This looks promising. Bartos. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Good defending. They've given it away. Still passing it around with authority. Really getting stuck in. Could be a chance to break here. Excellent ball over the top. Free kick awarded then by the referee. That could well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around willy-nilly. Classy goalkeeping. Well, it was a good save from the goalkeeper, but you'd expect him to make that save, wouldn't you? Well, we can see the stats. They don't lie. They haven't created enough chances today, but the quality in the end should pull them through in this game. Been frustrating for the fans, though. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead.
Well, we can see it again now, and it really is a difficult ball to defend against. Over the top and into space. And the timing to get this spot on, yes, it needs a bit of luck, but boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. Sabini. And very deftly cut out. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Sean Lau. Retaining possession proving difficult. Muling. Dame. It needs an accurate cross. Sends it back. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And then it's a pretty tidy finish too, you have to say. Hits it hard and low and just makes it really difficult for the keeper. Lovely goal. Benjamin Giert. It might be on for them. Well, no stopping him. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And breaking at pace with Menace. And he read it well, intercepting it. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Muling. And there it is, the final whistle, and it's a victory for the home side. They're going to be happy with this result, Lee. Yeah, their two-goal advantage in the end was just reward for their good play today for me. Worthy winners.